Hey, what's happening everyone? It's Dealer Destro back with another Modern Era G.I. Joe review. And today we're taking another trip down memory lane into the archives and we're going to be looking at the G.I. Joe Resolute Infantry Forces, codename Cobra Trooper. So, recently just picked this up from a, from a guy I know here locally by the name of James. Um, great guy. Sold it to me at a very fair price. Um, and I just, I wanted to do a video on it because this, like when, when this was going on, people were losing their minds. Just, you know, five minute webisode aside, um, this took a very more serious approach to the brand. I mean, I want to say the show opened up with Cobra Commander just wiping Moscow off the map. So they set a very high bar. Um, and when it was announced that they were going to be doing figures to go along with that, uh, this figure was revealed. And yes, it does have some issues, but this is probably one of my favorite Cobra Trooper designs. And yes, there's some, some reused pieces here, but I want to say... When this came out, this might have been the first figure to use this vest, and it, you know it was later reused by like Gung Ho in the the Rise of Cobra line, which I want to say came after this. But anyway, you know new new guns, new backpack. This was for me anyway, me personally. This was a big deal. They had an Alley Viper that came in the seven pack. I still think that that Alley Viper figure is subpar compared to this figure here. I don't know why, but. When you put these guys up in a squad in an urban environment, man, man, these dudes really, they command a presence. Um, so yeah, so I guess we'll just, we'll get right into it then. We'll just do the, we'll just do some, some surgery with the chainsaw. Not really. Um, so this is how I open my figures and I know that. You know, everyone is different. Be very careful if you if you do this method. Um, and the reason I do this method is because I like to retain as much of the artwork on the card as possible. And I, I yeah, I understand that there's some, you know, there's always going to be some of that plastic uh, pieces of the clamshell left on the card. That doesn't really bother me though, because as long as long as the artwork is fairly intact, then I am, you know, I am a okay. So. So anyway, so that's what I do. I come in with the X-Acto knife like that. Just do a little tracing along the edge here. And then, oh, make sure you get your loose pieces out too. And then voila. And then you're left with figure in the shell packaging or in its whatever packaging. And you're left with an intact card with some nice artwork. So if you are one of those guys that pin that up, then you can do so. Um, so taking a look at the file card, I'll leave that up there. Um, and again, this is this is from the era where they pay, hey, you know, clip and save for your GI Joe command files, which awesome, awesome. And then <laughs> the fact that they brought this back is just wow. More team members on the way. Yeah, we had we got some more stuff coming, and I don't know that we ever. I think this was it, unfortunately. Like, I don't know that we ever got into these guys. I mean, this looks like, the silhouette looks like this might have been another roadblock, and then this might have been like, it looks like maybe Falcon or someone. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, nonetheless, you know, this was awesome. This was from an era that it was a great time to be a Joe fan. Um, these later waves were just phenomenal. So, so yeah. Okay, so now that I'm off my nostalgic soapbox, we'll throw that to the side. We'll come back, get this guy out of packaging, get him stood up, and we'll talk about him. All right, so here he is outside of his packaging. And again, they took a very conservative approach with his loadout, but again, probably one of the best loadouts with one of these infantry figures. Um, you get this updated... Oh boy, camera's going to be difficult you get this updated backpack here um, 
nice again nice like i said whoever's on point for the whoever was on point for these guys you know they wanted this they wanted to win you can tell it because straps ammo pouches ammo pouches um the straps are continued up and yeah you know a lot of the 25th backpacks are hollowed out but i mean you're not going to see that when it's displayed on a shelf like that so solid black casting um i, I like it this gun here phenomenal this was this was this was the gun that you saw these guys roll around with in the show and i just i remember when snake eyes came to storm shadow island these guys were doing patrols and i remember very distinctly them having this weapon and despite like it's odd the odd and it, and it does it looks a little odd but great great silver finish with the black to um kind of make it not so bland um but despite the odd placement of this clip and the handle, these guys, I assure you, they can hold this gun. Um, it is a bit tricky, but you can get it. You can get them to hold it, and when they do, they look marvelous. Um, and then this thing here, I'm not even sure what this is. This is some sort of maybe shotgun because you got the the this, or maybe maybe it's a high caliber rifle with a grenade launcher on it. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I like this gun. You got the collapsible um, stock. I mean, obviously, it doesn't function, but you know um, the fact that they pay attention to those details is 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 great. So, so yeah. So he comes with that. Um, and again, this was from an era where I don't know why, but Cobra fans had it rough. One peg, not two. But one, not two, but one, and that's, that's all right. Whatever. <clears throat> I use these guys mostly for diorama purposes, anyway. All right, so let's just address some of the stuff that kind of was problematic all throughout. And I have I have several of these guys, and one of the major problems was the line work around the mask. It had a tendency to get a little crazy and then the eyes i know a lot of people you know whited out the eyes and then just kind of re redotted them in because you got the kind of the googly eyes i guess and me personally i thought it added like some charm to this character like it gave him that crazy that crazy look like oh i'm gonna shoot him first thing i see like let me let me see a gi joe wandering in here um and I, I, whatever, I mean, I took it for what it was. Like, that really didn't bother me because I was so excited to finally see the Cobra Trooper get its just dues. And then the, the unique thing about this one, too, was when you remove the helmet, they actually had hair painted, which leads to another problem that a lot of these figures had, at least on mine anyway. So what ended up happening is these helmets, I'm going to say that they were painted because of all that. You see all that right there? Um, but what ended up happening is I don't know if they didn't just let the paint cure enough before they assembled the figures. So a lot of my figures, and it's on a lot of them, when I remove the helmet, there's like paint transfer here, there. But that doesn't, it's a negative, but it doesn't bother me because when... I mean, I'm not going to be displaying my guys like this for any reason whatsoever. It's cool that they did this, and I appreciate that. But that's how I roll. Right there. That's exactly how I roll. Boom. Boom. Just like that. So, anyway. Um, so, I guess getting into the figure here. Very, very, very nice finish on it overall this aside nice finish on it overall so you got the armored shoulder pads the blue and then they even carried up the black into the upper arm sculpting um, you got the elbow pads like the elbow armor pads colored you got the accent on the glove um, you have the, the 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 silver in there for i think this is like a zipper you have the silver belt buckle the pouches the upper section of the, the 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 gear vest whatever this is 
is black. Um, the knee pads or the knee armors are painted that that same color here. Uh, they even carried they even carried the black up into the upper leg molding, which is nice. Um, hard to hard to see, but oh no, I guess that's not hard to see. Blue transitions down nice, and I'm not sure if that's supposed to like you know wrap under to secure the boot or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that's nice. I like this figure, and they see how they even continued it on underneath the shin guard here so yeah so i pff, man this figure is reminiscent of an era long since past ladies and gentlemen anyway so getting into range of motion that's what you get going up if you're going to stay anatomically correct um does get the full 360 with no problem elbow nothing is hindered whatsoever Again, same there. Um, typical wrist movement. They do not have the updated point of articulation on here because this was the era before they introduced that. I, I want to say this didn't come around until the Pursuit of Cobra. Um, and then range of motion for the legs. This is where it gets a little tricky because it is, it is hindered, as you can see, because the ammo pouches kind of drop below the 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 belt line there but you know if you use the torso articulation you get the full full uh sit down range you won't have a problem occupying your vehicles that are 25th compatible or part of the 25th 30th pursuit of cobra lineup whatever um double double knee joint again but again it's this is one of those times where the Sculpt impedes any sort of gain you would get from this joint, but that's all right. It's all right. And then, as you saw earlier, standard ankle joint. It is not doesn't have the updated um, what I call the ninja ankle or whatever that we didn't start seeing until I want to say the retaliation figures. Um, but again, that is this guy in a nutshell, and this. I'll just chalk this up to battle damage. That doesn't. I mean, he's a trooper, right? He's seen. He's seen much action on the front lines. So, <clears throat> and he uh, he was fortunate enough to come home. <laughs> so yeah. So I guess I'll get this guy uh, stood up with with his gear, and then we will uh, we'll come back and wrap this thing up. All right. So here he is. And as stated earlier in the video, I told you that he is able to hold that gun. No problem. Now it is a bit tricky because again, how that clip comes down in the back there, but full action pose can be achieved. It is possible. Um, should you bother tracking these guys down this late in the game? Uh, I don't see why not. I mean, again, this 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 one fell into my lap for ten bucks. You know, I don't know what they go for on eBay. I would imagine it's it's in the similar price range. They probably have true builder lots that you can pick up. Um, but yeah, I think definitely worth a pickup if you missed out on this guy, um, just because it it it's it's a very unique take. On the the infantry Cobra Trooper forces, um, you know I know the Vipers would later replace these guys, but this guy, there's a lot of love that went into this, all of this. This mm, nothing you can't fix with a paintbrush, but again, um, you know we can debate all day long on on. Should I even have to? So, yeah. So I would say, yeah. If you can, if you can find them at close to what they retailed for, you def. This is definitely a solid pickup. Fifteen um, is kind of pushing it for me, and and that's with any figure offered through in the regular line. You know, I'll, I'll as collectors, whatever. We all pony up money for you know stuff like that and whatnot, but 
for this guy, yeah, definitely, definitely worth seeking out. Maybe, I don't know if, if you got local toy shows coming up. I, I mean, I've picked a few up there. I've gotten lucky. Um, I've even grabbed some as, as low as like five bucks, you know, complete with the file card cut out. And that's, I mean, whatever. If you're a guy, if you're a completist, you got to have everything. Um, you know, Fibe might be your best bet, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I got on this guy. Definitely a sol solid overall figure. Um, nails the look of the show na nails the the essence they 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 captured the the likeness of this character to the team so you will not be disappointed and that's that's all i got to say about this guy so appreciate you guys tuning in appreciate y'all watching my videos if you like what you see please subscribe um till next time catch you guys on the flip side